president, what do you expect out of the debate tonight? Well, it's too bad I'm going to miss it. I'm going to have to have it somehow taped. I didn't even tell him about that, so maybe it's not that important, but it is what important. Look, it's going to be very interesting. I look forward to going home. I'm going to have to watch it as a rerun because many of you are coming to Baltimore with me. I don't expect too much difference. I mean, you have three people that are leading. I sort of think that those three people are going to take it to the end. It's going to be one of those three, I think. But you never know in politics, do we? You know better than I. You never know in politics. Mr. President, out of those three, who do you think your strongest opponent is? I think, you know, look, they all have their weaknesses and their strengths. I think uh, that they're very different. You certainly have a lot of uh, different voices up there. But it would look to me like it would be uh, Elizabeth Warren and it looks like uh, Joe maybe will be able to get there. Maybe not. I don't know. And uh, certainly Bernie is there. He's number three. But I think that's because they're so far in the lead, the three of them. And if you remember, I'm sure you forget my Republican primaries, but I went to the lead at the very beginning and stayed there. It's, you know, if you don't make a really major mistake, he should be able to make it. I would imagine Biden would be able to make it if he doesn't make any major mistakes. We'll see what happens. Are there any Democrats debating tonight you actually respect? I respect all of them. All of them? I respect everyone. Let me tell you, it takes a lot of courage to run for office. I respect all of them. See that? I'm getting to be much better as a politician. You never thought you'd hear that answer. Nancy Pelosi is scared to impeach you. I don't think she's scared of anything. I think she's a smart woman, and I think she knows exactly what she's doing. We have the strongest economy in the history of our country. We're about ready to break the record again on stock market. We've broken the record on jobs. African-American, we just broke the record again. You know that? Uh, if you look at Hispanic American, Asian American, the best, the best employment and unemployment numbers in the history of our country. With women, we're at 71 percent, 71 years. Think of this, 71 years. The best numbers in 71 years. No, I think we've done a great job. There are those that say the best job in the history of our country for the first two and a half years. So pretty much that's the story. <laughs> Oh, no, you can't get anyone. Yeah. One, like, I kind of see one, like, you